Today we're using Eventide Ultra Channel, a versatile channel strip with FlexiPath routing which allows each processor to be ordered based on workflow. I have an 8 bar loop I've created that has no effects. First, let's hear it dry. Now I'm going to add Ultra Channel to each track and at the end we'll hear the entire mix with and without Ultra Channel. First, let's start with the drum loop. I'm going to turn off the compressor. I'm going to use the O-Presser, which is from the Omnipressor. Let's lower the threshold. I really want to squash this. I'm going to turn the attack all the way up and the release all the way down. In addition, I'll boost up the ratio quite a bit. Add a little bit of makeup gain. And I think I'll also turn on the output transformer to warm up the sound but let me cut back the gain a little bit. Now I want to shape the sound using EQ. I really want to emphasize the kick and the snare. So I'm going to zone in on where the kick might live. I'll find that. I'm actually going to change this low shelf filter type to a medium peak. Sounds pretty good. I also want to emphasize the snare. So let me find where the snare lives. Let's tighten that up a little bit. I've created a duplicate of this drum loop so that I could feed it into the ultra channel that is on the bass track. I want the kick of the loop to alter the gate on the bass. I'm going to alter the compressor first. I'm going to raise the gain, but then I'm going to click the saturation button, and this soft saturation will keep the output from going above 0 dB, but also adds character. I'm going to also add the Omnipressor. Let me lower the threshold a bit. And eventually I'm going to move the normal compressor after the EQ with the FlexiPath routing. First, let's set up this Omnipressor. I'm going to again boost the gain, turn on the output transformer, and then dial the gain back a little bit. Now I'm going to move the compressor till after the EQ. Now I want to add a little micro pitch shifting, which is going to widen it and add some depth. After this, we're going to have the drum loop trigger the gate. I'm routing this to the gate on the base channel. Let's turn the gate on. Hit the side chain button. Turn up the threshold. Turn up the release a little bit. Let's hear it dry, and then with the effect. Now I want to layer this drum loop with some actual drums that I program with the same pattern. But I want to emphasize the snare, make the snare really big. So let's tweak just the snare. There it is, dry. Start with the O presser. Let's lower this attack a little bit and the release all the way. We'll head over to the EQ section. I want to bump it a little bit around yeah, about 1.6K. A little 
bump. Turn on that output transformer and the micro pitch shift. I want this to be wide. I want the snare to be overpowering in the mix. Turn on the stereo delay. But I want it really low just to give it a little bit of a slap back effect. Now we'll hear the entire mix without all the ultra channels and with all the ultra channels. And you'll also notice that I added an ultra channel to the master output and I used a mastering preset. And then with all the effects. Visit eventideaudio.com to download a 30-day fully functional demo of Ultra Channel.